Hello, welcome to the docking station. My name is Robert Leger, and I uh, invented this onboard tire compressor. But uh, we're not here to talk about an onboard tire compressor. To me, having a luxury bike without an onboard tire compressor is like having a yacht with a handheld bilge pump. <laughs> anyway, we'll talk about the compressor lead. It's the fairing repair kit. That's what I'd like to talk to you about. Well, when I first bought this bike, I fell a lot with it, and I still fall a lot. And anybody that says he doesn't fall with his bike, well, give me 40 acres and I'll turn my bike around. You get my point. Anyway, the first year I got it, I realized that the fairing was shaky. So uh, I actually took it out because my speakers were funny. And I noticed that the frame had broken. Actually, both frames, the one that holds the, the one that I'm showing you the kit, and then the other one that holds the side. Well, the first thing I did is I said, shit, they didn't, they didn't make this bracket strong enough. And of course, the engineers at Harley Davidson makes a great bike, so there's nothing wrong with the bracket. The bracket is designed for its purpose, and it works just great. But if you have any kind of linear shock to it, or a lot of vibration, or hard counter steer, I realize that's how you break these brackets. Now, so the first one, they, they fix it under warranty, because I had a full year warranty. Now the following year, I was in Sturgis, 2002, and I was, um, same thing happened, the fairing was loose and I removed the fairing and it was broke again. So I went to the local Harley Davidson dealer and he says, no, the warranty is up. So I figured that hell, I just bet myself a piece of steel, slapped it in there, case done, fix. Well, a couple of years later, I start making these compressors that I was installing. And I noticed that a lot of other frames were broken and I was repairing them. But I noticed that the one that I had repaired had hairline cracks around the rivets and that. And I was thinking, whoa, you know, when something breaks down, you have to know the reason it broke down. The reason it broke down, not that the frame was not strong enough, is that it's not designed for lean motion. So this is where the difference between the original bracket and the Add a bracket. I didn't change the bracket, but I add something to it that will make you amazed. And I think that it's the, well, I know it's the solution. So it doesn't matter what bracket you buy. If you don't put an anti-vibrating grommet in it, it's going to break again, or it's going to be worse. It's going to be more damage. That I'll get to in a few minutes. Now, don't go cheap with these grommets. These are really good grommets. This is this one here is the best one I could find, made in the United States, and it's, it's an anti-vibrating brim. It's like a motor mount, but this is gas resistant, will withstand gas, will withstand heat, and will last a long, long time. And it has a shear factor of over 50 pounds, so it's more than enough to hold it. And it's not stiff enough that it's going to break it. So anyway, we're going to go out and remove the fairing. Now, I'm not going to start showing you how to remove the fairing, but I will give you some advice. First thing you do is you want to put protection on your fender, right? Put something on your fender. And remember, Harley Davidson is made out of steel. You take yourself a nice magnet, put it on the fender, and that'll hold the, the towel in place. Okay, so what we'll do here, is always remember that this center screw is the last one you want to take off and the first one you want to put on. The reason for that is you take all the screws off, the fairing will fall, and if you don't have spotlights, it will end up falling on the floor or dangling on the spotlights or the headlights. That you don't want. And then when you put it back on with the center screw, it will line up everything and you'll be okay. Now, the screws at the bottom here, they're a little tricky. Once you take them out, the, what I recommend is just put a shop clock underneath 
just over the bell and that because the screw falls in this comb piece here and it makes it an easy job pissed off so you don't want to get pissed off so there you go we'll remove the fairing of course I already unplugged the light and stuff this is just for illustration so I'll remove the last screw hang on to the clockwork windshield right windshield so you just remove this screw that's the last screw and make sure you hang on to your clockwork windshield and you put your screw in here well this ain't gonna work because it's a stainless steel screw it doesn't hold on to magnet so just put this away and then you remove the fairing and the idea of removing a fairing, you want a sort of like an angle thing. You want to pull it on an angle, clear the spotlights, and just pull it right off. And make sure you put it somewhere where it's not going to fall. Because you don't want to piss off your customer. Now, I don't know if this is far away there, and it's it. Well, anyway, the bracket, these brackets are the original brackets that I made like in five minutes and all that, and I just drilled them now. But they're not too appealing. So what I did is I designed where you cut CNC cut uh, 316 stainless steel, and this is what they look like, you know. And uh, they got the part number on there. And this is the grommet I was telling you about. This is the grommet here. So I'm just going to take the camera off and show you a little closer what it looks like. Maybe that's why John Wayne they had always his head cut off to make him look taller. So anyway, I'll try to remove this camera without dropping it. So now I'll try to go slow here. Now, of course, it's your regular bracket. Now this is the original one. This has been there for, oh well, since 2002. And you see the way the grommet fits here? Well, that grommet there, and what's the nice thing about that it, it, it does a self-alignment too and if there's vibration it gives it something to give. What happened with the strong bracket I was noticing hairline cracks here plus hairline cracks there and I recommend to put rivets because there's no reason to put a bolt there's no reason to re ever remove this bracket and you never have to worry about this bracket. This is a bit of an overkill, it's a really too thick and the other one is much nicer but I didn't remove it because it worked just great, but the new one is much nicer, right? Now, this is what happens here. This is what it looks like. So, what you do is you just remove the broken piece. You just add the grommet in that broken piece. That's all you do. Just add the grommet like this. It's nice, nicely fits. It's a quarter inch on each side, you know, and you just put your bracket on, right? And you just, just just put your nut on all the way down and you of course you clamp the screw uh, the vise rip but now the, it'll actually repair the frame but a little further back because you got that half inch of a thing so you have to move back the frame flush with the where it was before and actually it gives it a little bit of a of a you could tell here it, so it gives it a little bit of a a actually a little shoulder here right and that's all is to it. And what happened is that I even had a customer call me up and said, Hey Robert, I got a hole in my fairing. Well, what happened is that this thing had actually broke right off and made a hole right in here. So I would advise if you already brought a bracket from from the people that's making brackets, there's a lot of people making brackets now because, I mean, it's an easy thing to break. It's not a no rocket science thing, you know. So um, if you do have that bracket, I would recommend to move it back half an inch and replace it with a grommet. Now, these grommets are available. Uh, I uh, In our kits, we have, our kits come with, uh, 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 a drill, two brackets, two grommets, four rivets. Okay, so that's the kit. And they're available at JP Cycle. Now, JP Cycle 
is our distributor in the United States. This is our sole distributor, is JP Cycle. You could check and go directly to our website. You could go directly to our website and you could purchase on the website. <clears throat> Boy, that's a lot of work. So I'll tell you what, I'm going to take a break with my cappuccino, or no, my espresso, and I'm going to have a nice little donut from our local bakery. Now, it was such a pleasure talking to you. I'll talk to you a little bit more about the compressor later. What was the whole idea of the compressor? and the concept of the compressor. And by the way, this crash bar will not wrap around my leg. This is, is an engine guard, not a crash bar. But mine is a crash bar. It's solid steel, and it's a hardened steel. It will never bend. It'll bend the frame first, but I don't care if the frame bend, because I don't want that thing to wrap around so that is another modification to the Princess Felicia. Now, thank you so much. And again, you could purchase the bracket. It's called the Fairing Repair Kit HD3726. And it's available at JP Cycle. And of course, it's also available on our website. But I prefer you going to JP Cycle because they're doing a great job for delivery, and they take a very small market, so the, 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 the brackets are very economical. And if you would like to buy the grommets separately, you can buy them from me for $12 each. Now, these are really good quality grommets, so if you already brought a bracket and you have it on your bike, don't buy another bracket just for the case of buying a bracket. Just buy the grommet, and I'll be more than happy to send you a grommet and a nut that goes with it. Uh, thank you very much. Again, from the docking station, and my name is Robert Leger, and I will be hitting the trail soon, and I'm looking forward to seeing you all at some of the rallies, especially at the open house at JP Cycle. That's a place you've got to go at. Thank you very much. See you then.